Well, it's quiet. Eh? Complicating that eh? for some time now I've been sick. And this was why I have not come out regularly as I used to. But I just want to use the little opportunity I have right now to make this news. And according to the news for today, it says I read, Nam de Kano, a Picot orders transmission of records to Spring Court in seven days. Hello, great viewers, welcome to my noble channel. The Court of Appeal has sought Spring Court expeditions, hearing in the federal government appeals against his judgment that discharged Mazen Namdekano from terrorist charges brought against him by the Federal Reserve. To this end, the appellate court on Friday ordered his own registry to compile and transmit to the Supreme Court within seven days the record of appeal in respect of the judgment delivered on October 30th. The appellate court in ruling on Friday in Abuja also ordered that the counsel for the parties, Kano and federal government, are to settle the records immediately for the transmission to the Supreme Court as ordered the hearing. Justice Haruna T. Sar, money in the ruling on federal government application for judgment stay, had the execution of his own judgment, which voted the rendition of Khan from Kenya to Nigeria and also set aside the terrorism charges against him. Justice T. Sar, money upheld the federal government application and ordered that the execution of the judgment be put on hold. The federal government had applied that the execution of the judgment be suspended pending the resolution of his own appeal, lodged at the Supreme Court. Justice Tussanami, in the briefing ruling, heard that the counter-affidavit filed against the federal government application by Kano's legal team was misleading. On that note, it is my view which I hold that their application is meritorious. Therefore, the sole issue raised by the application is hereby resolved in favor of the applicant. The application is accordingly granted and hereby ordered as follows, that the execution of the judgment delivered by the Court of Appeal, Abuja Division on the 13th of Day, October 2022, in AP number CA, ABJ, CRO 625, 2022, between Namdekan versus the Federal Government of Nigeria, is hereby stayed pending the hearing and the termination of the appellant. Stroke appellant appeal against the said judgment by the Supreme Court. The registry of this court is to compile and transmit the record of appeal to the Supreme Court within seven days from today. The counsel for the parties are to settle the records immediately for transmission to the Supreme Court as ordered here. Now, my analysis. Like I said before, The appellate court is now against their own judgment. It's quite appalling, quite insulted. They have come to show their recolors. In a court where you see everything that calls themselves judge are flagged. Just like the government of Nigeria today, everything you see there is full of need. Both the illiterate and the literate ones. 
But I don't blend them. I blend the bull leaders. I blend the so-called Biafran leaders. Or should I call them old Eastern John leaders? They can't even stand there on their own decision. So how can they stand by the court order? Everything in Nigeria now when it comes to judiciary, comes to the police, comes to the military, comes to DSS, our BS. When you see few of them who are honorable men and women right there who are doing everything possible to do the right thing, somehow they will be disqualified or they will be retired or they will be transferred. That is what is going on in this contraction we are in today. Some of you may be happy, but believe me, it will come to your doorstep in time to come. This man has not committed any crime. The only crime he committed was freedom. Why the men who are committing the crime, who are bringing terrorism into your country, are being free by this same government? They are being free by Malami, their so-called Pawain Tapa of Malami, who has nothing to offer, who has not some concern, who not even have a great jam aggregate to get into university. But today, he is telling you what to do or what not to do because he is mad at the general of federation. A contraction created by Lugade, a contraction created by Lugade and handed over to Janjaweed, who were strangers because they had the opportunity to destroy the houses who are the indigenous in that side of the land. They have no brain, no doubt, but they know how to use people's brain. And that was why the British choose them. Those that can deceive to get what they want to do, done. And their leaders, who are Igbo leaders, and some from our neighboring brothers, has done nothing but allow these people to sell since then to death. The only Voka Mazen Khan, who has done nothing to liberate you from hands of this calamity that comes from flan extraction. This calamity that has destroyed you has continued to suffer for it. And the funniest part is that some of you who are from Igbo extraction are doing everything possible to aid these people to frustrate this gentleman. Now, the law against their own constitution. Because they are on our beers. They have threatened them. A few days ago, it was the Shadmas in the Khan. All of a sudden, the so called Aki court has come to stand against their own law and against their own judgment. This alone shows that Nigerian is finished. Nigerians are doomed. But for you, you think that you are doing to Mas in the Khan. You are doing to yourself. Go and make a song. This leaders has come to destroy you. They can't give you good governance. Upon that, they won't allow you to be free. They have continued to do everything possible, including those leaders in Igbo land. The ones sitting in the head of affairs in Igbo land, I'm not talking about them, the leaders who have done their past and gone. We have tried our best to wait for these people to do the needful. And every hand pointing at it shows that the Buhari government are criminal and terrorist. Every hand pointing at it shows that Malami, who happens to be the so-called Attorney General, 
is nothing but a terrorist who are doing everything possible to destroy Nigeria, including Igbo Nation and every other people residing in this construction called Nigeria. I don't have much strength, but I will tell you one thing today. We are not going to obey any court order that says otherwise on what that ballot court said on the 13th of October. What we are saying in a sense is that every court order must be that same thing that the United Nations has said. That same thing that the, the, the Amnesty International has said. That same thing that the Court of Appeal said on the 13th of October. That the Buhari government refused to be. When we told you that Buhari was long dead, you thought we were playing. He was the one who said that he is going to obey any court order. But did he? He did not because he is not Buhari. He is an impostor. Impostor. Recruited by Stan of Sokoto. Remote by Stan of Sokoto. Recruited by Dangote. Remote by Dangote. Recruited by some Kabas in the northern part of the country. And the Remote by, remoting by them. It doesn't matter if you are here or not. Niger Delta man, Igbo man, let me tell you something. It will come to your doorstep. Because these people don't want their yeah, well being, they want to destroy. You. They can't give you good government. And the only man who has come to voice out the calamities, the atrocities that they are perpetrating, they have bent in destroying him, including all these leaders you see in Igbo land, who are head affairs in Igbo land today. This is not about IPUB anymore. This is about their friends. We will not allow Mazen and the Kano to continue to remain in DSS custody. And we will not take any other court judgment that is against the court judgment of a big court on the 13th of October 2022. We will not take it from anybody. Because it has come to show that Malami is nothing but a terrorist who are doing everything possible to rise this country. He freed Boko Haram here and there. He freed terrorists here and there. He don't, doesn't complain. But he has kept a freedom fighter in his custody, DSS custody, with the help of DSS, who are nothing but 60-something percent of Boko Haram and Fulani terrorists. Let us be sincere to ourselves. We don't have the assets. What we have is terrorists and criminals. That is why they have continued to keep innocent freedom fighters, rape them, kidnap them, do all sorts of things. Why those terrorists <clears throat> from pit of hell that had their kinsmen are busy, free moving around, being free, being recruited into the assets and into and police. Some of them are ministers, people like Patani. These are terrorists. Today they are ministers. This alone shows that Fulani has been battered more than they can chew in Nigeria. And time has come for this nonsense to end. And for this, I am saying today that we will no longer tolerate any terrorists in the name of George. We will no longer tolerate any terrorists in the name of Attorney General. We will no longer tolerate any terrorists in the name of a big court judge. If respectable judges in a big court can give a judgment 
an anti-terrorist camp. And he said otherwise, stood on that judgment. That means the Nigerians are doomed and the freedom is what we will almost seek for. I've said this now and I will not repeat myself again. I will going to give another news in time to come. Maybe after I might have gotten better a little. But for now and here, I think I've come to the end of this news. <laughs>